families! Welcome to Storytelling episode number three. I'm really excited to be reading Scribble by Ruth Ohi. Before we begin our story time today, I would like to go over the song that we learned together in our previous two videos. Okay, so this song that we're going to be singing together is called Here Are My Glasses by Laurie Berkner. This is a fun introduction song before a story time so that children can prepare themselves for story time together. So by singing this song, this will indicate to children that it's time for story time. And it's a great transition so that children can pre be prepared for a story together. So for the song Here Are My Glasses, this requires us to do some actions. So we'll be using our hands to do these actions. So our first action will be making glasses with our, two, with our hands just like this. So take your two hands and pretend that you are wearing glasses. Awesome. And then we need, we need to pretend that we have a book in our hand. So we're going to use our hands as our book and we're going to open up our book just like this. So close up your book and open up your book. Awesome, that's great. So this is how it goes. Here are my glasses, here is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. And I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and close up my book. Great! Today we're reading Scribble by Ruth Ohi. I like to roll around and around and around. That's a circle. I like to sit still and I am solid and I am strong. And I have many points. All of them are good ones. That's the triangle. And the triangle has three points. Let's count together. One, two, three points. Straight lines are the best, says Square. Follow me and you'll never get lost, says the triangle. And look at the circle. The circle is upside down. And the circle is saying, wahoo! I think the circle is still rolling around. Look, I see the square, the circle, and the triangle and a great big zigzag across the page. Za zoom, says the zigzag. <gasps> Whoosh, swish, that's a great big scribble. Eek, said circle, ah, said square, and triangle trembled. That's a great big squiggly line. What are you, said circle? I am scribble, said scribble. That's not a shape, said square. There's too many points, said triangle. The shapes don't look very happy. How do you think the shapes are feeling? Do you want to play, said Scribble? With you, said Square? Together, said Triangle? But why, said Circle? So Scribble swooped and Circle found out that when Scribbles waved, Circles shone bright. When scribbles scurried, circles could bounce up and down. Look at the big smile on circles' face. And when circle feared that she would float away, scribble held on really tight. That looks like a big balloon to me. Do you see that? 
and there is triangle and square that's watching. And when Scribble roared, Circle saw, what did Circle see? And Circle saw square and triangle waiting to join in. Come, said Circle, come and play. Come and see what else you can be. Wow, what else could they be? Square and triangle look like they're a boat that are, that's sailing on top of the water. Do you see that? Look at all the shapes and look at what all the shapes can be. I see a hot air balloon right at the top over here. And I see a flower. And I also see a house. Do you see the house? And I see an ice cream cone at the very bottom and it looks like it's melting. And I see a tree. And I also see an apple sitting at the bottom of the tree. And I also see a bird way up high flying in the sky. And look what else they became. They became a rocket ship flying high in the sky. Triangle, circle, and square became a rocket ship. Hello, my name is Star. It looks like they made a new friend and their new friend's name is Star. That's so exciting. What a great book about scribbles and shapes and everything that different shapes could be when you put them together. I hope you enjoyed this book, everyone. So parents, as a fun activity, after reading this story, I encourage you to look around your environment that you're in, whether it's your home, your backyard, your apartment, or whether it's while you're on a walk, or if you're in, a, in the car driving to a place nearby. Take a look and encourage an, a conversation with your child and encourage them to look around and tell you about all the different shapes that they see. Start labeling them because they will recognize that a square can come in many different forms, whether it's in the, in the shape of a home, whether it's the shape of their table, whether it's the shape of their book, or for example, a circle. Try and see if your children can label all the different circles that they see in their environment. This allows for children to explore their mind rather than just labeling a shape on a piece of paper, but being able to understand and see those shapes in their environment as well. For the next part of this video, I would like to share with you a fun activity. And this activity involves a lot of scribbles and I think it'd be such a great way for children to just expo express their emotions and for them to allow themselves to freely just explore what they can do with different art utensils. We're using two different types of crayons. One are larger skin tone crayons as well as a bit, a little bit smaller in size, a multi-pack of 24 pack of crayons as well. I do have a large white piece of paper. You can use whatever paper you have. You can use newspaper. You can use just brown recycled paper. You could even use cardboard. As long as it's something you're okay with it being drawn on, you can use whatever canvas of paper that you would like, as long as you don't mind it getting scribbled all over. I also do have some markers here. Markers are not as ideal for this situation, especially if you're doing it with younger children because you don't want to run into the risk of anything getting covered in marker. For example, if you're using a table or a floor or any base. Um, so markers could be a last resort if you really don't have crayons or pencil crayons. But if you do use markers, just make sure you're using washable markers, okay? So I do have my paper set up right in front of me here. A great tip that I would like to share is using some tape to tape down the edges of your paper or your child's paper so that it is 
easy for them to draw freely without having to worry about the paper that they're working on moving around. So I would suggest using probably painter's tape is a good idea just so that it doesn't rip your paper later on when you um, remove it from the base so that using a painter's tape will probably be the best option but if you don't have that any tape is okay just be gentle when you're removing the tape after your child has done their artwork. So now that we have the tape on our paper we can begin with our fun artwork. So allow your child to choose whatever color they would like. I'm going to be choosing orange and blue and I'm going to just let my, just myself freely explore and just draw. And the fun, neat part about this is that you can use two crayons at once. You can even then switch up your colors halfway through or whenever you decide and then just keep scribbling and just let your child just freely explore. Try and not give them any direction and just let them create whatever comes to them. Whatever they feel is telling their hands to do and that's what they should be doing. And I'm gonna keep going until I'm happy with my project. And I'm just gonna keep scribbling and I like to add the variation of using many different colors. And maybe I'm going to do four crayons at once and see how that works. So let's try with four. The more colors I like, so I'm going to keep scribbling. And there really is no right or wrong way of doing this. So let your child just do whatever they would like to do. The fun part of this is that there is no right or wrong way. There is no instructions to this. There is no direction. It's just freehand exploring. While you are drawing with your child, talk about the shapes that you are making with your hands. Although some of them may be scribbles, similar to the book that we just read, some of them might be circles or some of them might be lines that are crossing on top of each other. They might be different, but each one you can describe while you are doing. So I'm going to keep on going and I think I want to add some more color. So I might start doing some fast strokes, just like this, really fast. Or I might do some really slow strokes like this and make some circles. I might decide that I want to do some really dark and really strong lines. You can even give all of your scribbles some descriptive words like strong. And we could even try and draw some of the shapes that we learned in the story. We learned about the triangle that has many points or the square that is very strong. Okay, so if you have your sheet of paper and your crayons ready, let's do this activity together. Let's Together, let's scribble and let's just explore and just let out what we're feeling on our pieces of paper. So I encourage you to grab a piece of paper, pause the video if you need, go grab a piece of paper, grab yourself some crayons, pencil crayons, markers, whatever you have at home, and let's get drawing together. So I'm going to choose my two colors. I would like to choose purple and orange to start. And then we are just going to go to town on this piece of paper. So I'm going to use both of my hands together and I'm going to make some circles. I'm going to go around and then I'm going to go down to the bottom. Ooh, And then I'm going to grab another two colors. I think I'm going to grab brown and black this time. And I'm going to pretend to be a scribble with very sharp edges. And this one looks a little bit more fierce, a little bit more strong. Awesome. And then I'm going to grab another two colors. And I'm going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Great. I'm going to grab red and green. And this time I'm going to go from just using one hand. I'm not going to use two hands this time. I'm going to explore with one hand 
and then with the other hand. You might even see your colors mixing. I see my green and my black mixing and it's making a funny color. What other colors do you see mixing together? Take a look at your paper. I see yellow and purple mixing a little bit. I'm going to take this peach color and I'm going to do a very light shade. Hmm, I think I'm going to add some more blue to my paper. And this one I'm going to do very strong, very strong arts. And you might see that now I'm going strong. I'm also going really fast. I'm drawing really fast on my paper. And I'm going to take pink and I'm going to just shade it very lightly, softly. And now that I'm going softly, I'm also even going a little bit slower. That's fun. Okay, I think I'm finished. I think my paper is fully covered. Let's take a look. Scribbling is a great form of letting children express their emotions, letting children convey what they're feeling and what their thoughts and what their emotions are on a piece of paper. As we know, children don't often have the words to describe what they're feeling or don't know exactly how to describe what they're feeling. And this form of art is a great way to just children to let children express what they're feeling on their minds, but this time in a fun form on a piece of paper. So this is a great outlet for of inner emotions that children wouldn't know how to say otherwise. This also allows for de-stress, and this is great for adults as well. Often adults and children can benefit from the same sort of activities, just in different variations. So this is a great way just to de-stress, to not think about talent, not think about skill, not think about the outcome, but just to allow yourself to freely do whatever your hands and your mind allow you to do on a piece of paper. It's just a fun way of de-stressing. When children scrabble, they're often exploring what they, they are feeling, so it's a great way for children to gain that sort of control of their emotions and be able to make meaning of it. And at the end, when you are finished your artwork, you can just have your children kind of narrate what it may look like to you. To me, this looks like a stormy day, a very blizzard-like day. It looks like lots of uh, emotions, lots of wind, lots of strong rain maybe. So you allow your children to explore and tell you what they are feeling by looking at this piece of paper. They don't necessarily have to connect to it personally, but they can look at the artwork and say, this to me looks like a stormy day, or this to me looks like a beautiful sunny beach day. They can explain and just let their imagination run wild. That's the, that's the fun part of this activity is allowing children to just use their imagination to no, to no limits, without any restrictions, just allowing them to create their own idea, whatever they're feeling in their mind on a piece of paper. So thank you so much everyone for, for watching and I hope that you followed along and did the activity with me as well. If not, try it out at your own time and let us know how your artwork turned out. If you would like, you could take a photo of your piece of art and share it with us at our email and we would love to see what you've created at home. I really hope you enjoyed today's storytelling. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's storytelling video. Bye!